Adobe Story Plus is a feature that lets you create something called a shooting script. And a shooting script really helps you plan your production. You can basically outline exactly what kind of shots you want to have and when in the script. But the downside to that is that if you add a bunch of elements, a bunch of elements that explain which kind of shots you're going to use, you basically expand the script such that it no longer is one minute per page and you lose the timing and you can't use the script to lay out a schedule. So it's a good idea when you make a shooting script to have a separate script just for the shooting side of things and retain the original script for all the planning. And so Story gives you that option, which is a good thing. But the way it gives you the option is kind of counterintuitive. So I'm going to show you a different way after I show you the way that it does it by default. Let's say I want to add a shot. I can just right click here and either add a shot or a camera shot. There are two different kinds of things. The shot basically says exactly what kind of shot it is and the camera shot has information about the camera and other things. They're not really sure why they have two. I think it works better just to have one. I would go with shot, but I'm going to click on camera shot right now. When you do that, you get this message. It says adding a camera shot element will change the template of your script. So you should have a backup, which makes perfect sense. I'm glad they do this. But the thing is, the copy is saved as a backup. Now that's your original script that's being saved as a backup, and then you're going to turn the original script into the shooting script, which is a little counterintuitive because it's going to say castle script, but in fact it's the shooting script, and then the backup will be the original. So I don't think this is really the best way to go about doing things. I'm going to click cancel out of there and go back to the project side of things. I'm going to duplicate the script here. Make it a little bit easier to do this. Just click on this script to make sure it's active. Click on duplicate. And there's a little blue thing telling me I can just type in something. So I'm going to go Castles Shooting Script, like that. Click away to save that. I'm going to open that up now by double-clicking it. And it will be exactly the same as the original script, which should not be a surprise. There you go. And I'm going to close the original script to make sure it's just out of here. And now we're going to work with this script. Well, typically when you add a shot, you actually add a carriage return here. So I'm going to press Enter to go down one line. And I'm going to right click and say, Add a Shot. I'm going to get that message again. Do I want to save a copy or do I want to continue without saving a copy? Well, now I want to continue without saving a copy because this is a copy and it's called Castle's Shooting Script. So there'll be no doubt that this is the shooting script and the other one is the original script. Now I click Continue. And there we go. Now we're ready to start adding some shots. Now, had I chosen instead to add a camera shot as opposed to a shot, it would have narrowed the script down into a narrower field like this and it would have taken all the descriptive stuff here and made it all uppercase. Just a little bit different process. So I prefer working with just the shot side of things like this where it keeps the script in the same width as the original one. Nevertheless, let's get working on this. I'm going to right click now and say add a shot. There it is. It's all ready to go. So this guy's hovering here waiting to have me add a shot there. I'm going to press the space bar, and it's going to open up this lovely menu full of all kinds of standard shots. If you know anything about video production, you know these guys stand for things like big close-up or cutaway or close-up there. So I'm going to select one of these guys. I'll select close-up there. It puts a little dash and another blinking cursor, meaning, okay, press space bar. What's going to happen? I get a list of my cameras. So I'll take camera one, space bar again. What's the gear we're going to use to shoot this? I could just say crane. There we go. That is our shot. Now, it just sits there kind of in isolation. It would be nice if there was some kind of number associated with it. Well, in fact, there is. The number is just not showing up right now. To see the number, you go to the View menu and go down to Numbering and click on Shot. And there is the number for that shot. It's automatically generated. It's Scene 1, Shot Number 1. All right. Let's scroll down a little bit here to Scene Number 2. Scene Number 2 starts right here. I'm going to go at the end of this line here and press Enter. I'm going to right-click here and say Shot. And now we're at Scene 2, Shot 1. Press the space bar. I'm going to do Big Close-Up because he looks defeated. And I'm going to press the space bar. We'll do Camera 2 here. Press the space bar. And we'll have another crane just to have it down on a crane. And I can now have this guy walking toward Joseph. So I'll just press the Enter key there, and it's automatically going to be 202 in just a moment when I choose Shot. There we go. I'm going to press the space bar, and it's going to be, let's say, extreme long shot there, because he's coming down a hallway. And press the space bar and say this is camera 3, for example. We're just loaded with cameras here. Press the space bar again, and we'll go on down here, and we'll have this guy be, let's say, Dolly. In while we gradually have this extreme long shot. 
So that's how you add shots like this to create a shooting script. You can do this throughout your script here to help you plan your production.